Hi, this is XX Computer Kid XX, and today I will be showing you how to get fonts on your computer. So first, you're gonna want to go to um, the internet or whatever browser you're using. Let it open, and yes, I am running Vista, and go to dafont.com. D-A-F-O-N-T. Go to the first one. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come up with all these different things here. You can look for all the different fonts. Let's go to horror, I guess. And let's look for f actual fonts in writing. These aren't actually in writing. These aren't actually writing fonts, so I guess horror would be a bad one. Let's go to, um, I don't know, fire and ice, I guess. Let's do blazed. It looks cool with the thing and everything. So how to get it? You click download for PC, Mac, OS X. Hit it. It'll come in a zip file and download it. Find it wherever it is. In my case, it's on my desktop. We're going to open it. Then open, then extract all your files, because it does. It comes in the zip, as I said. Let it open. Now there, you have this blazed thing right here. That's your font. It should have two T's. It should look something like that. Now there's the file. That's the only file you need, you'll need, that one with two T's. So we can delete these. X out of this. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to search. There's other ways to do this, but this is how I find it easier. You search font. Let it go. Then, um, go into the fonts file, file, I mean, sorry, different, that's a different thing. Feeling all weird today, um, okay, um, then you're gonna go to, like, take me a while to find this. Control panel, I think it is. Then you're gonna find fonts there it is then all you do is you drag your blazed font which is right here into there let it load now now that your fonts in there you should be good to go Wait, let's just make sure it's in here Find blaze. Sometimes it doesn't go in. That's just a tip. We'll just try to drag it in there again. It says it's already in there. Then you know it's in there. Would you like to replace it? Yeah, sure. There. Now we know it's in there. So you're gonna X out. You could delete your font thing. Now we could just go into a program that we could type with or something. I'm using Fireworks CS3 Abobe. Um, it's a program that I use for lots of things. I find it really helpful. You should buy it. I'll have a link for it in the description. Hopefully. Just create a new Fireworks document. Yes, I have the trial. 500. No, not 5,000. 500 by 500, just for fun. Now let's test out a new text. So we'll type something. Oops. Type it right there. Now we'll find our blazed. There, our blazed text. Now if we type, it works. Let me just put that darker so you can see. Make we'll make it red because it's all fire and everything, and we might want to make the font a bit smaller. Then there, we'll say like, hi, I'm Bert. Wait, uh, hi, I'm. Bob, I guess. Then we could, I guess we could paint it nice red tinted instead of normal red or black, whatever. It looks kind of cool like that. And yeah, that's how you get fonts and it'll work on any typing program. Just that color only works on fireworks. And
ден дијала, што примаче.